Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kamado Jan. This week, we're going to take a look at our greenhouse. It didn't fare too well a couple years ago in the windstorm. Besides, I hope we're going to be okay. Well, you'll see what's going on. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be working on the greenhouse. Two years ago, we had a hell of a windstorm come through and shredded the whole top of the greenhouse. I ordered panels to redo the top alone, hoping that the sides will last a couple more years. Well, they didn't. They're falling apart, they're ripping more. So today, we're gonna be pulling down all this here. We're gonna be putting up battens, like you see there, and attaching the panels for the greenhouse. I ordered these from Home Depot. They are clear PVC. I expect them to be discoloring here in the next three to four years. Once they discolor, they'll still be okay for another five years after that. It's an easy fix. I just didn't want to spend $60 a sheet. This is $16 a sheet, so big savings and it'll last a while. As you can see, the veggies are all doing good. I cleared some space here so I can pull everything away from the sides. I've got tomatoes coming in. Zucchinis coming in. More tomatoes. We've actually already had some of the snow peas. Got Brussels sprouts. Got lettuce and uh, cucumbers up front. I've got pole beans. More pole beans. Cucumbers. The broccoli bolted really fast for some reason. I don't know what happened there. More cucumbers, cucumbers, and some cauliflower. All right, let's get this show started. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move some of these plants out of the way so nobody gets damaged. All right, guys, this is going to be some spots where I'm going to be fast forwarding it. So I'm going to either do voiceover or I'm going to do a little bit of music. So, anyways, here you can see I'm moving plants around. Let's get this done. It is already almost 80 degrees in here. It's hot. guys is going to be giving me grief here in a minute because I'm standing out on the edge of the floor on a second story barn inside the greenhouse with no safety lines but it's okay I'm used to being on the edge of the boats and stuff like that where I'm just gripping my toes and that's a lot more slippery than this barn is I'm not too concerned about falling if I fall I'm gonna land in a bunch of soft ferns and a lot of soft fireweed but I don't usually fall too much so I'm not too worried about it Thank you. 
Sarah was taking care of some stuff in the house and finally come out to give me a hand. I'm thankful for that because trying to manhandle these things while I'm out there on the edge of the roof isn't easy. So I'd get them lined up and she'd hold them in place for me. It worked out pretty good for us. Thank you very much, Sarah. We got that side done yesterday. Today we've got to do this side here and the last few pieces of paneling up on the roof from last year's project that I uh, ran short on. So let's get this started. I gotta move some plants first. So I'm gonna shut the camera off of that.
Well, unfortunately, I think the camera shut off and didn't get it all, but greenhouse is pretty much done. Unfortunately, the building gets cattywampus. So I'm overhanging over there and short over here. So I can finagle that with some plastic and it'll be all good. Greenhouse complete. So for maybe an hour's worth of work tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Unfortunately, I was short one piece to do the ridge cap. I'll get to that another time. I have plastic over there taped and stuff like that. It should be fine for now. But anyways, there's not going to be a live tonight because I have guest up. So we'll, we'll reschedule that for sometime in the next few days. I hope you all have a great weekend and look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day. Bye.